Today, I'll show you how to create a really cool off-canvas menu. When you click it, the items will pop up with a smooth hover effect, and clicking on any item will take you to another page. We'll build everything from scratch and add a custom code that I got from Andrea. So a big thanks and don't forget to check out her channel. To get started, let's first add a new container to your Elementor page by clicking the plus icon. Set this container to full width like this, so it spans across the screen. Then adjust its direction to horizontal by clicking here to line up your menu items side by side. Okay, to create the menu layout, we need to add some HTML. So let's drag and drop the HTML widget into this container. Let's position it on the right side of the page by going to the advanced settings. Here, set the position to fixed and adjust the horizontal orientation to right. I'll also add an offset value of 35 to add some extra bit of spacing. Also set the vertical offset to 35 as well to keep it vertically centered. Now to ensure the menu appears above other elements on the page, let's assign it a high Z index value. This is a CSS property that controls the stacking order of elements on a web page. Elements with a higher Z index value appear in front of those with a lower value. All right, let's set up our navigation items now. But before we do that, you need to understand one thing. Adding these features will surely make your website engaging, but what's the use if it does not load properly when your visitors interact with it? Adding customizations like this can slow down even a new site and drive away visitors. So my team built this awesome free tool called Airlift, where you just have to put your site URL and it will optimize your entire website and give you a 90 plus page speed score without breaking your site. Also, you can go to the visual regression tab to see if anything has changed on your site. Their support is highly responsive. So if you face any issues, just raise a ticket and they will handle it. So try it out and share it with your friends because you will thank me later. First, add another container and set it to full width. In the additional options, change the HTML tag to nav and set the overflow to hidden. Also, using the nav tag is crucial for SEO as it clearly defines your navigation section for search engines. This helps you improve your accessibility and indexability so your page gets ranked better on Google. Now, to create the burger menu, go back to the advanced settings for your container. Scroll down and in the custom CSS field, paste the CSS code from the description below. Big thanks to Andrea for the GSAP code that makes this animation possible. It's a game changer for smooth transitions. Okay, you should see the burger menu appear here. You can also tweak this CSS later on to fine tune the design. Now go to the layout settings and add the CSS class overlay. This will make the container disappear initially it will reappear when we click on the menu icon later in the video. For now, let's remove this class and we'll add it again later in the video when we need it. Next, add an inner container that will hold different elements. Start by dragging in an icon list widget, then a CTA button, and finally some social media icons. Also set the alignment of the icons to the left and change their shape to a circle like this. If you hover over these list items, you'll see an awesome effect, thanks to the CSS code that we added earlier. Now I'll style all these elements by making the text larger and adding some color. Once that's done, it should look something like this. To perfectly center everything, select the icon list, go to the advanced settings and add some padding from the top and left. Apply the same padding adjustments to the other two elements to ensure they are all positioned neatly on the page. Now let's set up the buttons and social media icons. This is a very important step, so make sure to follow along. First, I'll add the CSS class test to both your call to action CTA button and the social media icons. This will allow you to target these elements with specific styles and ensure uniformity in design. To make the hover effect more interesting, go to the text options, click on hover effects, and choose a hover color that will pop when users hover over the icons. Next, it's time to make your menu functional. Click on any item within your icon list and look for the linking option. Click on dynamic tags and select an internal URL option. Here, specify the type, such as content, and then choose the page you want to link to. 
This ensures that your viewers can navigate to relevant pages directly from your menu. Remember that we removed that CSS class earlier. Let's add it back in as we want the menu bar to appear and disappear on click. Go to the main container of your menu and add the CSS class overlay. This class will manage the toggle effect, allowing the menu to slide in and out as needed. Finally, let's publish our changes and test the menu bar toggle effect. If the effect doesn't show up as expected, we need to add one last thing to make this work. Let's add an HTML widget and insert this code. It's quite crucial because it interacts with the Z index settings we applied earlier. This ensures all elements, like the menu button, are visible and layered correctly. Now let's add some Z index like this, and yeah, we're mostly done. To add cool transitions to our page, head over to Site Settings and click on Page Transitions. Here you can adjust the background color, entrance and exit animations, and even set the animation duration to your liking. For an extra flair, let's add a background image to our menu container. I'll also temporarily remove any overlay options. Go to Style Settings and choose a background image. Then adjust the settings like position to center center and attachment to scroll. Change repeat to no repeat and display size cover to fit the design. To make sure your menu button and other elements stand out, go back to the advanced settings and add the CSS class overlay again. To make the menu item show up, select the outer container and set its Z index lower than the main container, but higher than the other elements on the page. Everything looks good. Let's update the page and preview our design. Click on the menu bar and it should show up perfectly. The hover effect is also working fine. If you click on the home option, it should take you to the linked page. That's it. Your off canvas menu with really cool animations and transitions is now ready. Comment below if you have any questions and I will help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your site speed in just one minute. You're really going to thank me for this. So click here and I will see you there.